Okay, so this is part two to um, holding yourself accountable and learning lessons from your past relationships. So, as I was saying before, what I did was I wrote down, um, I started thinking about past relationships and I started writing down things. And I had to look deep down in myself. So, I had to look at some of the insecurities that I had. Uh, some of the things that, you know, maybe I didn't, you know, feel unworthy or, or insecure about certain things. And I noticed that those were all the things that I saw in, in those people. But if I secretly had all of those things going on too, but I just acknowledged them for their faults and I never held myself accountable. Now understand I was the active participant in this. Okay. And I think we don't really realize that, that we're getting people who mirror us and it's the bad sides of us. Um, so in the end, what really got me is that I realized that one of my, uh, past relationships, well, the past person I talked to, the last person I talked to, we were basically in a trauma bond that was, it wasn't no relationship. It was a trauma bond because we were coming together it was almost like our two inner childs came together and trauma bonded. Like it was never even love. We were mirroring each other's trauma. Like it, it was crazy. Like how I had this breakthrough y'all. It's crazy. But if you really sit down and do this, it's like mind blowing. Okay. And so the thing is why it's so important to understand these things and to hold yourself accountable and really look at you because you are who you with. Um, is maybe it's time to start changing up, you know, like those type of people. Cause what, what will happen is those type of people will keep coming back up in your life. So if you're dealing with narcissists, you're going to continue dealing with narcissists. If you don't, if you don't basically learn the lessons from those relationships, you have to learn a lesson from those relationships or you're going to repeat the same mistakes. So, you know, what's going to happen your ex, who you was with, who was horrible, who was a narcissist, who was whatever, guess what? They're going to show up in your next relationship just in another body because you haven't learned the lesson from that last relationship. You are basically, uh, you're basically going to just keep on repeating the same cycle over and over and over again. Y'all, this mind blowing. I swear. <laughs> so it was like, oh my gosh, that's why. So I I'm just telling y'all, you know, just be mindful that, yeah, heal from your past relationships. It's important. Learn the lessons.